Uh, it's Guy from GT Models. Today I'm doing the uh, review of um, all the upgrade parts for the um, next build I'm doing of the Kawasaki ZRRR ZX, sorry, RR. Um, basically, as I said, with this build I'm going to be doing a very big build log um, with all the upgrade kits. That's so going to be most probably quite an intense build so I'll be starting that today um, so this video is about all the upgrades you can buy for a, to make it just look museum quality basically but the first bit here we have is this uh, from Hero Boy uh, you can know uh, basically what it is it's, it's actually really cool it is a chain and this thing is ridiculously detailed and I mean ridiculous obviously you've got here the rear axle the small gear you've got the main sprocket down here and then you've got this like jig that you put the chain in um, and you basically build a little micro chain um, that works so yeah it's pretty insane um <clears throat> i'm gonna actually do a video on building this chain for if you guys have ever wanted to know how to build a micro chain um the pro the uh, video will be there for you guys to watch um i'll do it in my excuse me <coughs> i'll be doing it in my um how to series and it'll be under chain, so how to uh, how to guide uh, detail chain. So as you can see, the rear sprockets and the front gear is photo etch. Um, and a few that's the axle there, that little bit of metal, and some bolts. And then here you've got the um, jig for the chain, which is most probably a tool that you can keep, and it's quite a useful tool to have. And then all these little bits here are the single links that you've got to build the chain out of. And you've got some other bits behind there. And I uh, don't know if you can see in there, you've got the linkages along there as well. So she's going to be pretty insane. Um, as I said, it's most probably going to take me about two, three weeks just to do the chain on this kit. But that's the first kit is a micro uh, chain that works and then you've got um, that's the first one you've got this thing this bad boy this is the super detail series set as you can see, it basically puts all the wiring loom in the motorbike, um, all the servos, all the plugs, pretty much the bits that model kits don't have, um, and the real bikes do. <laughs> it's a big, big step. Um, they're quite expensive, but they are worth getting if you can get one for the bike you're building. It really sets it apart from any standard model kit. Um, so what do you get in the box? Obviously everything's protected. You have got plugs, lots and lots of resin plugs. Uh, all them there, got all different types of plugs there. I think they're the rear, a new rear um, foot pegs. On this side you've got different servos and uh, something for the rate for the uh, around the fuel tank I think that is and a few other little bits there you've got a new dashboard as well and you've got a card level card type stuff that is for leather straps um, but yeah that's that's the resin parts you get so you do get quite a bit in there
then you get your instruction manual. I'll move the box out of the way. The instruction manual is pretty intense. As you can see, um, a few pictures from different angles. This one's like a little book. So you've got your part list here, you've got the different wires and plug wires there and uh, tubing. It tells you how to do shrinking, shrink tubing like on the real cars. It's also got two sheets of photo etch and some other metal parts here. And here is all the uh, parts that I just showed you of the um, resin parts. So you get quite a lot and obviously it's a call out of what parts are called what. So that's cool. And then here is the first step. You've got like you build the um, dashboard and obviously all the um, little servos that go on the dashboard and all the plugs and that. And here you cut away and do the front forks. Um, and uh, small little like um, wires and that. And here it tells you how to do the wiring loom. Uh, you have to, this is one to one scale, so you actually sort of like build it to this and then you sort of like feed it through the bike and obviously. All these little letters, numbers, tell you which parts to use. So it does look insane and you're like, oh my god, where do I start? But as long as you break it down and like look at each individual part, it isn't that mind-boggling to be fair. And then you've got obviously the wiring loom up to the different servos of the uh, motorbike. Like here's the main... Uh, box that sits next to the um, dashboard and then this goes down to the front forks with all the plugs that one lead goes on there and it's just all the wiring loom really and these plugs most probably will go into the engine and this back into the back of the servo into the back of the speedo or something so it's a pretty intense kit but it shows you here where the wiring loom goes so along there and along here but I was looking last night on the real bike this main bit of wiring loom here is braided cable um, and it's a black braided cable so um, I got this just in case this is something Tammy has just started to do um, it's braided cable so you can use it on cars it says up here uh, no sorry here um, 1 to 12 1 to 24 scale cars 1 to 6 bikes and 1 to 12 bikes so the one I'm building is 1 to 12 so yeah that's the stuff for that and for some reason it makes the camera go yellow <laughs> so back to the instructions obviously First step on the motorbike is the engine on the kit. So it shows you here all the different like plugs and cables you got attached to the engine um, and the fl new flywheel uh, and where they go into the uh, wiring loom and how to fold the wiring loom around the engine and also the black band as I said in there so and that's the like servo box, another servo box, and you've got the exhaust systems here. And then you've got the steering linkage here, uh, the radiator with obviously its extra detail here, which I think these here are Jubilee clips. You have to make micro Jubilee clips, it's insane. Um, on these pipes, they're made out of little tiny pieces of photo etch. Um, got some more plugs going down into the radiator, and it most of all shows you uh, obviously what plugs they are and uh, what types of tubing they are. Also, you've got um, 
some more indicators there and here as long as you break this kit down it's it's not too difficult you've also got the chain tensioners here that sit on the back rather than being plastic you've obviously got to cut them away off the bike and then replace them with photo etch ones so that's cool and then you've got the uh, rear disc which is all photo etch um, fuel tank obviously it's got clear tubing coming out I did have a look at the bike yesterday and I know that all this tubing is clear so if it doesn't come in this kit which I very much doubt it doesn't come in this kit because I haven't looked at the tubing yet um, I've got some tubing from one of my old models that's clear so I use that and I've also got some green tubing as well um, a couple of other small little bits here and um, some more like plugs and that under the seat and the last page is sort of like coloured drawings of what it's sp supposed to look like so you've got obviously the all the plugs going into the back of the race unit uh, into the uh, dash and then on the other side all the other plugs into the dash some more surveys and that into the side and uh, all the little bits of photo etch so base and the fuel tank here which I don't think the standard kit has got but obviously this one does and yeah it's just all the plugs really so if you want the kit to look amazing worth buying also in the, the same kit you get these little things that's obviously the um, pist for the rear shock and you've also got a couple of bolts there as well and some other bits and pieces and then here's your photo etch here um, which is obviously all the plugs and radiator and uh, brakes and that and also your tubing so yeah it does come with clear tubing there and these are all your shrink tubing and obviously your wires as well and everything for your wiring loom so that's what you get in that box of goodies also um, this kit does have um, I'll show you this this is carbon fibre decals rather than putting black ones on uh, you can use carbon fibre I think you've seen me do it before with my uh, the center bike but this one is actually designed for this bike so you've got templates on the back that there's some instructions in there and it just basically you've got to cut them out and then sort of like just as you do with any other deck or just shrink them onto the uh, model and instead of being blue sorry black it's as you can see it's carbon fiber so you've got two sheets of that which is great and I'll do a how-to video on how to do carbon fiber as well so you also have this that Tamiya makes which Tamiya makes for quite a few of their bikes you might have saw me do them on the uh, Ducati 1199 Senna it's the um, fork set um, as I said they're awesome you got the metal forks the new rear spring and um, new washers and obviously the main new parts here but obviously these, these little bits here I have to cut away and put new ones on for the bigger kit also one last thing here it's pretty much the same it most probably is the same as the big box I've got but I use them as spares basically if you don't want to go the full hog and go out and buy the big box because you think it's either too hard or you don't have the money to go out and buy it um, I would recommend one of these it's like a micro version so it's got some of the details that the big kits got um, 
but not everything like the dashboard it's got all the photo etch there's a few bits obviously that the big kit don't ha doesn't have like this little thing here i don't think the big kit has um and basically it's just a few smaller details um that you can put on the bike and it's for base yeah that's literally it uh, so there's a few little bits you can put on the bike here that gives it sort of like a medium uh, sort of like detail and basically you get pretty much the same stuff um, you've got the tubing and that like in the other kit and some more wires and that but I'll most probably use these all as spares to be fair because um, sometimes I customise my bikes and these are always useful also you've got the photo etch here as well uh, so if you damage any photo etch I've got spares um, but this kit's slightly cheaper than the big box but it comes with about half the detail so it doesn't come with any of the wiring so that's the other kit and that's pretty much it that is everything I'm going to do to this bike so as a recap I'm going to be doing a wiring loom all the servos and plugs and that and forks carbon fibre and finally chain and um, also braided cable so that is the power of extras you can get for this kit um, this build is most probably going to take me about what four maybe five months most probably hope might get it done by Christmas um, but it's going to be a pretty big build and quite slow as well because obviously of all the parts um, as I said I'll be doing a build log separate on the chains so if you guys ever want to go out and buy one of the chains um, I will give you sort of like a video tutorial of that uh, I'll also do most probably a small video tutorial of how to do uh, like the wiring loom like some heat shrinking and that um, because I haven't seen much of those types of videos online I've seen obviously box reviews and kit reviews and that but I've never really seen anyone build a chain so I'll be putting like those types of videos up for high detail um, kits and that so also I'll be showing you how to put the fork set together it's quite self-explanatory really that one uh, so it's not too complicated um, and obviously all the photo etch as well so I might even do a video on photo etch and how to sort of like use it without breaking it I know some people don't like using photo etch because it can be a little bit finicky and you can snap it quite easily um, but there is meth methods and tips and photo etch that you can do that makes them look really good as well um, and as I said I'll be doing a video as well um, with the carbon fibre sheeting as well sorry my voice is going I don't know why um, so yeah that's that's the whole lot and as I said I hope you enjoy this video and if, if it's been helpful to to decide whether you want to go out and buy this kit and go and get all the other upgrade kits which are all ordered I've bought them all from Hero Boy um, their website is www.heroboy.com um, they're really good at stocking like upgrade parts and that so they're the ones to go to um that other than that that's pretty much it um so i hope you enjoy this build log i know it's going to be quite testing at times and very long but keep keep with it and it'll be good so uh thank you for watching and as always have a great day and happy modeling bye